have come up with a solution to solve the environmental problems and to also to work towards a carb zero carbon emission city. To solve our problem, we created our own stupid question. So what's the stupid question? Our stupid question is, how can streetscape greenery be like robots? What? That's so stupid! How can trees walk like robots? No, I don't mean it literally. We have to clash the attributes of streetscape greenery and robots together to create our new product. Our product is called the Kinetic Detector and it beautifies and complements our garden city and helps us to work towards a zero carbon emission garden city. And the, when we clash the attributes of our, of our solution, we have come out that we can make people gen can generate electricity while exercising, then the plants can and the park can generate electricity. Skyrise buildings will be able to transform to, into energy producing machines, and photovoltaic cells are wrapped around then marks to make it look futuristic and like aliens. Wow, that sounds so interesting. So are you trying to say that the kinetic detector is placed on the leaves of plants, rec recreation machines at fitness corners, pipes on buildings, landmark structures, roads, and drains. The kinetic de detector can generate electricity using kinetic energy, which is wind and rain, by using the kinetic detector. The solar energy is also used made of photovoltaic cells. There's also many benefits to this product. It allows us to make a small modification to our existing garden city while achieving a much cleaner city. It's very applicable to our Singapore climate. Lots of rain, as, our, as, as Singapore has lots of rain, it can harness kinetic energy from the rain. Singapore is also near the equator so that it can harness solar energy from the sun. Singapore has monsoon season and it also can harness kinetic energy from the wind. It is feasible to invent the product, as there is products like the kinetic torch and the photo photovoltaic cells. It can also create jobs and make Singapore a partner in this technology. It can also engage students in CIP work. The issues that we may face is that the device may be too costly. However, a solar panel which is about this size only costs $45 and also in the long run it will save a lot of money. It will also be difficult to invent this device. However, the researchers in Singapore can work on it. There may also be not enough manpower to install the kinetic detector. However, we can always get the students to help out so that they can earn more CIP hours. It may also be too heavy and cause the leaves to droop. So, to solve this problem, we can make the device small and light. The estimated cost are in, for invention is $500,000. For manufacturing the device, it will be $100 per tree and $10,000 per 1km road and drain. For manpower to implement the device, it will be $10 per tree and $7,000 per 1km road. Thank you. All right. And we, and we hope that you will support us in our venture. All right, support them, Greenwood Primary. Okay.